Originally designed by the Inuit to get around, kayaks have seen quite an evolution since that time. Let's see what they look like today. Today, these small self-contained crafts are more often used for recreational purposes to the great delight of the increasing number of outdoor adventure lovers. This video will allow you to discover the different categories of kayaks and their characteristics, in addition to the basics regarding paddles. Let's begin with the kayak categories. Before we discuss the different categories of kayaks, let's start with some general technical explanations regarding their dimensions. Let's start with the length of the kayaks. Longer kayaks are usually easier to use, more stable, and able to carry heavier loads with less performance loss. They stay on course better, are faster, glide further, and provide great efficiency with less effort. Shorter kayaks, on the other hand, are lighter, less bulky, easier to transport, and may be less expensive, depending on the materials used. They are much easier to turn and allow for faster turns. Their short hull also allows for paddling on narrow rivers and is more suitable for small people and children. Now let's talk about their width. The main function of a kayak's width is to provide stability. The wider the kayak, the more stable it is, which is perfect for learning. A wider kayak will be ideal for a beginner. On the other hand, width has a direct influence on the handling of the kayak. The wider the kayak, the less maneuverable it is. In addition, the wider it is, the more resistance it has on water. This requires, therefore, more effort from the paddler. A few words now regarding the hull of the kayaks. Flat bottoms with hard chines, that is, the sharp, nearly right-angled edges where the bottom and sides meet, and the greater the flare or the curvature of the sides outward, all equal a kayak that provides greater stability. This is found on sit-on-top and recreational kayaks. Round bottoms with soft chines, that is a gradual curve where bottom and sides meet and less flare, equal a kayak that has less stability but is more nimble and easier to roll if it is tipped over. This is found on light touring and touring kayaks. Let's take a look at the sit on top or exterior seat kayaks. Sit on top kayaks are open over their entire length and are often favored by new paddlers who don't want to be attached to their boat. These kayaks are easy to get on and off of and are easy to store. Since it is not possible to sink them, unlike a traditional model with a deck, they are excellent for children on a lake. In addition, they tend to be short, which limits the maximum weight capacity. Loads of fun to use, these simple kayaks are a class apart. They allow you to spend an enjoyable summer day close to shore without worrying about getting wet. This is the kind of kayak that you leave at the cottage and use on a lazy weekend day. Let's now look at the recreational kayaks. Designed like a traditional kayak with a sit-in design, they will typically range in length from 9.5 feet to 12 feet, or 2.9 to 3.7 meters. Its large cockpit makes for an easy entry and exit, and its seat is comfortable and adjustable. It is equipped with a deck hatch for limited storage of safety gear or supplies. Because recreational kayaks are shorter, they will be lighter and easier to transport. Its increased width increases its stability while making the kayak slightly more difficult to handle and may create less efficient tracking through the water. However, it is the perfect kayak for new paddlers. They are perfect for small lakes, peaceful rivers, and one to three hour getaways. Let's now look at the light or transitional touring kayaks.
The light or touring kayak category includes two types of kayaks, touring and sea kayaks, which share certain characteristics. They are equipped with a deck hatch storage in the bow and stern of the boat. They also have watertight bulkheads separating the deck hatches from the cockpit, including a full deck rigging allowing to carry more equipment. Touring kayaks are increasingly popular. They can measure 12 and a half to 15 feet or 3.8 to 4.5 meters long. They are shorter and wider than sea kayaks, are steadier and more stable, especially if they come equipped with a rudder or skeg. They are ideal for large expanses of fresh water such as Lac Saint-Jean or the calmer parts of the St. Lawrence River or for heading out on an overnight or several days kayak camping tour. Sea kayaks measure 15 to 18 feet long or 4.5 to 5.5 meters. Their length makes them faster, but since they are used in water that is often turbulent, they usually feature a rudder or skeg for improved maneuverability. These kayaks are designed for rough waters, high seas, and salt water. Let's now look at our last category of kayaks, the tandem. Although the tandem kayaks we typically carry are recreational models, this type of boat is available in all kayak categories. Those who enjoy kayaking with a partner should consider a tandem kayak. Not only will it cost less, but also, thanks to its bigger size, it will track or hold a straight course more easily and enable a steady pace to be maintained if one of the kayakers is not quite as adept as the other. Recreational tandem kayaks have a large cockpit with two seats to accommodate two paddlers at once. The sliding front seat can be removed for solo paddling. Like the one seat model, they have a deck hatch for limited storage for safety gear or supplies. These boats will handle and track very similar to the one person recreational kayak and are ideal for a fun day on the lake. Let's now look at the paddles. The paddle is an extension of the kayaker's arms in much the same way the kayak is an extension of their body. And that is why it's important to choose the right one. While paddle choice is largely a matter of personal preference, length, weight, material, and blade shape are all variables that will affect your customer's decision. Touring lengths range from 220 to 255 centimeters and are suitable for most kayakers. Common materials used are wood, fiberglass, carbon fiber and aluminum, or plastic. Paddle blades are either feathered or non-feathered. Shafts are either one piece, very durable and inherently stronger, or two piece, which are easier to transport and for which the blade angles can be changed. Furthermore, shafts often come in two shapes, oval and round. Oval shafts offer a more comfortable grip than the traditional round shape. Some round shafts offer oval hand sections for a better grip. This is called oval indexing. Feathered blades are rotated at an angle to each other and reduce wind resistance. Non-feathered or matched blades are positioned parallel to each other. Note that the blade angles can be changed on certain paddles. Large symmetrical blades give a paddler power through quick, powerful bursts of acceleration, but require a great deal of energy. Asymmetrical blades are narrower, but tolerate a more horizontal stroke, which uses up less energy. Great for those who paddle for long periods of time. Whether it be navigating around the banks of a quiet lake, paddling down a peaceful river for a few hours, or going on a several days long whale watching expedition in the Gulf of the St. Lawrence River, your customer will be able to take full advantage of their activity when choosing the right kayak.